Hi everybody, I'm Didier from ID2-3D and today I'm going to show you how to print with different infill types or densities in the same model with Cura 2.6. I am first going to explain how to apply different settings to two models. I'm going to open a model, here it's the Ultimaker robot. I select the model with a right click to multiply the model to have a second one. Then I select a robot and I choose the per model settings button on the left toolbar. A window opens and shows all the settings that you can choose for our model. For this example, I'm just going to select the infill density. I enter a value for the density, for example, 50%. Then I select the second robot and I'm going to apply some settings in the same way. I'm going to choose infill density and fuzzy skin that has a visible effect on the outer shell. I select fuzzy skin and I insert 10% as infill density. Once the slicing is finished, I can check how it looks like in layer view. The difference between the two models is really obvious. Now I'm going to explain how to apply this method for the same object. Here a hexagon that I designed to test the different infill types. If I check the layer view, I can see that six different infill types are applied. So let's see how to do that. First of all, I created this simple model in Fusion 360. I split the object in six parts. Then I exported one STL per part and one STL for the complete model. In Cura, I add all the models on the build plate. Then I apply some specific settings like I showed previously for each part of the model, with per model settings. And I change the type of infill, and most important, I define it's an infill mesh. Infill mesh means that every part that intersects with a model on the build plate is considered as infill only. Then, with a right click, I choose Select All Models and another right click to merge the models. Let's see how it looks like on the Ultimaker 2 Extended. For the next example, I'm going to use the Ultimaker robot again. I import the STL in Fusion 360 to have it as a reference. I want to make the arms, feet and the head at 100% infill, and the rest empty. To do this, I created a box that is intersecting with the robot. This box is then exported in the STL. In Cura, I add the robot and the box I just exported from Fusion 360. Then I select the box and I choose Per Model Settings. I choose the Infill Density and Infill Mesh. I set the density to 100 and I select Infill Mesh. The rest of the model has a 0% infill defined in the global settings. Then I do a right click and select all the models and merge the models. If I look in the layer view, we can see that the infill mesh is applied as expected on the robot. The feet, the arms and the head is filled at 100% and the rest is empty.
As the models are merged, we can even scale them, and the infill is still applied correctly. There are other ways to use these functions in Cura. I choose to use Fusion 360 to have more precision and to ease the process. But you can do the same with simple cubes that you place where you want. You just need to change two global settings of Cura in order to allow models to intersect and not to drop the models automatically to the build plate. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you found it useful. Don't forget to leave a comment, like and share the video. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram. Thanks and see you soon!